Does it look like they're pulling the strings, Tally? I'm not working for them. They're working for me. So you ordered the listening devices and tracking beacons that are all over this ship? Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And welcome back to Mass Effect 2. This is Hill here on Deck 4, Engineering of the Normandy. In our last episode, we recruited Tally. And now it's time to go and talk to her and see what she might have to say. Shepard, what can I do for you? I want to talk about you. Have you got time to talk? We didn't really have time to chat while taking out Geth on Haystrom, did we? I can't believe so many people died. Thank you again for getting Rieger out alive. All for data about stars blowing up. I hope the Admiralty Board gets some use out of it. Let's ask about Rieger. Have you heard any word about Cal Rieger? Did he survive his injuries? He sent me a message. It looks like he'll make a full recovery. Any time you get a suit puncture, it's a matter of luck. Rieger got out with a relatively minor infection. And, as you may recall, if you did see the last episode, we had to go with a Paragon option to save Rieger, because he will play into another mission later on, so it's best to keep him alive. Alright, let's uh, ask about the response to Data. Any news yet on the Data you sent? I'm not likely to hear anything for a while, or on an unsecured channel, for that matter. Let's ask about the Admiralty Board. Tell me about the fleet's Admiralty Board. It's one of two major political powers among my people. The Admirals make decisions related to defense or needing immediate action. They also handle major criminal charges, like treason. The other political power is the Conclave, a group of representatives from each ship. They make most of our laws and fleet decisions. Let's ask about how she's doing. Having any trouble settling back in on the Normandy? I like the quiet. I miss the old faces, though. Presley, Engineer Adams, all of them. It doesn't seem right having Cerberus in charge of this ship. Are you sure working for them is the right thing to do? Well, he thinks he's in charge. Does it look like they're pulling the strings, Tally? I'm not working for them. They're working for me. So you ordered the listening devices and tracking beacons that are all over this ship. I know you need resources to fight the Collectors, but be careful, Shepard. Mm-hmm. Let's ask why she hates Cerberus. I caught some tension back on Freedom's Progress and again when you first came aboard. What happened between Cerberus and the Quarians? They attacked one of our ships, the Edena. It seems they were attempting to kill or control a young human biotic who was on the fleet. I don't really know the details. I do know that Cerberus made an enemy of the Quarian people. Alright, well... Shepard's just gonna say he doesn't have a choice. I don't like working with them any more than you do. But we need them. I know. Just watch yourself. You're their best weapon right now. But as soon as you no longer serve their needs, be ready for them to turn on you. For now, I should get back to work. Thanks for coming by. Hmm. Alright, nothing like having an intimate conversation next to the Tantalus Drive. Gas right, put some crazy tech into the main gun. It's almost doubled their power throw. Oh, while we were upstairs on the CIC, I was told that Jack also wanted to speak with me. Let's go down here. see what she wants. I got thoughts, like little bugs crawling in and out of my head. I can't stop them. You know I have a history with Cerberus. You know how far back it goes? <laughs> Make it quick. We've got work to do. Get to the point. I work for you, and you work for Cerberus. They're in my face all the time. This is gonna make me crazy. Crazier. Your pal, the elusive man, never seen him before, but Cerberus raised me. First thing I remember is my cell door in a Cerberus base. They did experiments, 
drugged me, tortured me. Whatever chance I had to be normal, they stole it by trying to turn me into some super biotic. The doctors. The other kids. Every one of them hated me. They let me suffer. Let's investigate. Let's ask about the other kids. There were other children in the base? I didn't know much about them. I was kept separate. They hated me just like everyone else there. When I broke out, I had to fight through them all. I showed them. But there's a loose end I need to deal with. Let's ask about escape. How did you get out of there? There was some kind of emergency and I made a break for it. The other kids came out of their cells and attacked me. So did the guards. I just killed everything in my way and ran. Guess my biotics had developed faster than they thought. I managed to get a shuttle off the ground. Drifted until a freighter picked me up. The crew used me. Then sold me. That's my uplifting escape story. Let's ask about the justification for torture. What did they hope to gain by torturing a little girl? It was something about pain breaking down mental barriers and how it might clear the way for a more biotic power. I'm sure there was a payoff due at some point, but I wasn't going to see it. I was wired up in a cell. Let's ask about her enjoying what she became. You love the power they gave you. They never gave me a choice. Let's ask about experiments for no reason. They tortured you just to see if they could make a strong biotic? That's it? Wasn't in a position to ask, Shepard. All I know is, a little girl crying in a cell, begging for the pain to stop. Let's ask if she's sure it was Cerberus. You're absolutely certain that Cerberus was running the facility. I was a kid, but I wasn't dumb. I know how to listen. It was Cerberus. Don't care how far down the chain it was. They thought they were so clever. Turns out, mess with someone's head enough and you can turn a scared kid into an all-powerful bitch. Fucking idiots. Hmm. Cerberus is different now, according to Shepard. Sounds like they've done a serious 180 since those days. I'm not trying to convince you of something, Shepard. I don't care what they're doing now. I found the coordinates in your files. I want to go to the Telton facility on Pragia, where they tortured and drugged me. I want to go to the center of the place, my cell. I want to deploy a big fucking bomb, and I want to watch from orbit when it goes. <laughs> Why now? You've lived with this your whole life. Why do this now? Like I said, I found the coordinates in your files. You can't expect me to just sit on information like that. Let's ask about destroying a Cerberus base. Attacking our allies is going to derail our mission. Not a smart move. The files say it was shut down after my escape. It's been abandoned for years. They going to care if I blow up a garbage dump? All right, he'll think about it. Our mission is the priority. If we have time, we'll go there. Don't wait too long. I need to do this soon. I need it. All right, so we have a mission to go to Pragia. We've got four Renegade. Great, and no... No... Paragon. That's what I like to see. Although I have had to cave in and, and do Paragon. Oh, before we go, let's see if Tally is ready to suggest upgrades for the Normandy. Shepard, what can I do for you? Oh, she is ready. Can you do anything to give the Normandy an edge over a collector ship? Definitely. With the right supplies, I can fortify our shields. The collectors cut through the Normandy's barriers immediately last time. My upgrades might give us a better chance. Okay, ship enhancements. Multi-core shielding. All right, a Normandy shield upgrade. They call it Cyclone Shield Tech. The rapidly oscillating connected... Mm. All right, let me try this again. The rapidly oscillating kinetic obstructions of cyclonic barrier technology, CBT, are added to the ship. This should help the ship survive blasts like those that destroyed the first Normandy. All right, let's do it. Okay, so we got the multi-core cyclonic shield. And let's see, I think there were some what more can, options. What can I do for you? 
Let's ask about the Normandy status. How's the Normandy running? Say what you will about Cerberus. They know how to build ships. The Normandy's running even better than before. I don't know if it can stand up to a collector attack, though. I'm researching some ideas that might help. All right, let's ask about Tally's work. Is the new Normandy giving you any trouble? Please, Shepard. I'm a quarian. Give me a chunk of scrap metal, a circuit board, and some element zero, and I'll have it making precision jumps. I was worried about working with Cerberus engineers, but they know what they're doing, and they've been very polite. All right, well, let's go. I'll let you work. Talk to you later. Okay, let's get back up to the CIC. Kelly, you have anything for me? How is our newest Turian crew member doing? His injuries looked painful. Huh. Garrus is tough. He's a soldier. It'll take a lot more than that to keep him down. True. How may I help you, Commander? Let's ask about the crew. Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Yes, Commander. Alright, so we're working on Kelly to get her to feed the fish. And speaking of which, let's go up here and feed them now before they expire again. Oh, good. Look, they're still, still alive. And we're going to feed them again. Keep them alive a bit longer. Very good. All right. Well, let's check out some of these messages. Is there anything important? What the hell? Oh, Corporal Tombs, people. From Mass Effect 1. What the hell kind of game are you playing, Shepard? You did the buddy act when I had the gun on that Cerberus scientist telling me you understood. Now I find out you're working for Cerberus? Tests were done on me that you can't even imagine. For years, Cerberus did them. They tortured me. They used me as a damn lab rat. And now you're teaming up with them like they're any other Merc band? I've got my own Merc team now, Shepard and I kill any Cerberus team I can find. If I run into you, don't expect any different. Okay. Transfer request approved from the Admiralty Board of the Migrant Fleet. Commander Shepard, per Tally Zora, Vos Nima's request, included with her data delivery from Haystrom, the Admiralty Board has approved her transfer to your command. She has been informed that additional duties to the migrant fleet may still be necessary on occasion, but has been given extended leeway to determine when her mission with you is considered complete. This choice was hers, but your role as de facto captain during her pilgrimage may have caused her to be more susceptible to your request. The Admiralty Board trusts that you will treat your new crew member with the respect due an honored member of the fleet. Should any harm come to her due to negligence on your part, this board will take severe and appropriate action. And this is from Admiral Rail Zora. I think that's her father. I think. Okay, so that's that, 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 all that, that done. <laughs> okay, what do we have in store? Let's see what's next. All right, the Dolan system, I have not scanned it yet, and I think we probably have plenty of missions. Yeah, there's a lot going on on Ilium that uh, we're going to need to check out soon, but I think in our next episode, we're going to help Jacob because he has a power, a bonus power, that I want. All right, well, this is a short episode, I'm sure. But we are going to end the video here. 
And until next time, this is Hill, and I'm out. Thank you.